Welcome to another episode of Sippy Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make baking jam. And in this skillet, this is a cold skillet, I have a pound and a half of chopped bacon. Don't worry about chopping it fine because you're going to whirl this at the end in the food processor. And so we put our one and a half pounds of bacon in a cold skillet and got it heating up. And we're just going to render out all the fat and um, brown the bacon up real good. All right, now we're removing our bacon. See how dark and crispy, and you're rendered out all the fat. This is how it has to be. And we're just draining with a slotted spoon, and we're putting it in a bowl, and we're going to set aside. And then I'm going to dump out all the grease. to set leave two tablespoons of baking grease in there, and we're going to put some onions in. Okay, I left two tablespoons of my bacon drippings in. Now we're going to put in two large onions that have been roughly chopped. You don't have to worry about, you know, they're going to uh, break down a little bit as we cook. And also, as you remember, we're going to whirl it in the pre processor. So this is two large onions, roughly chopped. And you're just going to like, pick these down and caramelize these a little bit. Not really caramelized, but they'll get browned a little bit. It's a process just like the bacon, it takes a little bit. I am going to give the onions a little bit of salt. Not much, not much because the bacon's salty. Okay, I've got my onions to weigh on them. Now, a half a cup of packed brown sugar. Two tablespoons of cement garlic. In goes a cup of strong brew coffee. A half a cup of apple cider vinegar. A fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. A half a cup of pure maple syrup, a little bit of cayenne for some heat, it's to your taste how hot you want it, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and the bacon is already salty, and remember we put some salt on the onion, so okay, we're just going to bring this up, boil them a little bit, bubble them, and I'm going to turn them down and let it simmer, and we're just while it simmers, we're just going to come and give it a stir every 20 to 30 minutes. It's in and I'll tell you how long I simmered by for. This is the bubbling action I was talking about. Now I'm gonna turn it down to a, a low medium and we're just gonna simmer this away. See how thick and rich this gets. Now we're just gonna put it, like I said, in the food processor. And we're just going to pulse this. I'm going to just take a couple crackers, the little buttery rich crackers. You can put it out for a party, football game night. Put some crackers around it. You could serve it with some toasted little pieces of the bread, veggie platter. I like carrots and celery dipped in this. Now, to break out for dipping, you don't have to use this for a dip. You could use this as a spread to put on some grilled cheese, top your baked potato, hot biscuits right out of the oven, smear you some on some waffles, top some on a steak. Put it on some cheeseburgers. You could totally serve this over a block of warm cream cheese and have this warm and then dip, serve it as a party and dip crackers in it. The options are endless. So there you have it. Bacon jam my way. And the balsamic vinegar and the cayenne is optional. You can totally leave any, any of that out. 
You can add a little bit more uh, brown sugar if you want to than what I use in the recipe to make it more sweeter. This is sweet tart. 